Everyone has their bad games and losing streaks from time to time in Star Wars Battlefront 2. And if you find yourself stuck in one, it can be really frustrating and rage inducing. Today, we'll talk about how to recover without becoming this guy. I can feel your anger. There are a few things you can do once you become stuck in a losing streak and start to become frustrated in gaming. And as Yoda says, The greatest teacher failure is... You can learn from these games more than you can from games where you just end up dominating. Today, we'll talk about picking your class, break down and analyze your gameplay, and just basically to relax. It's important to remember that Battlefront 2 is just a game and in the end, your performance doesn't really matter. The main thing is, is just to have fun. Even if you die as a hero, it'll be okay. Most losing streaks and rage inducing moments stem from a psychological place and the best way to fix it is just to go back to what you know and trust. Your abilities haven't necessarily changed, but the way you perceive the game and yourself have. In order to get out of this mindset, there are some slight adjustments you can make to your thinking. As we go through this, in the comments let me know what you do to get out of a losing streak. And if you're in one now, what do you think is causing it? If you enjoy this video, there are several ways you can show your support. You can like, share, comment, subscribe, and we're also found on Patreon. We do stream Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8pm and everyone is welcome to come play with us. Be sure to check out our partners over at StarWarsGaming.net as well. They do an amazing job to keep you up to date with all things going on in the Star Wars gaming universe and they're a wonderful resource for this community. We also should be finding out about Season 2 either this week or next week, so just be sure to keep an eye on it because once that's out, StarWarsGaming.net will have everything you need to know on it. If you find yourself in a losing streak, the first thing to do is to stop playing specialist. I know, I love the class too, but they die to everything, they die fast, and they die a lot. It can be extremely frustrating to play. Instead, you're going to want to take a second to think about where you normally find yourself in a match or in a game, and pick the class best suited for that role. If you find yourself playing a sniper type player, Try playing the Assault for a bit instead to see if that helps. Each class has its strengths and weaknesses, and most likely you've been playing a little bit of every class recently, or just changed classes to start leveling. You want to go back to what you're comfortable with and have the most fun with. The more comfortable you are when you play, the more confident you feel about your weapon's abilities, the better you're going to do. Even if it's not the best weapon in the class, if you feel that you can trust it, the better you're going to perform. Now that we're back on a class that we know and love, don't look at each match as a whole. While sure, at the end of the match you want to see how you did, and it's great being in the top 5, you want to break down each match into a life separately. So if you focus on something larger, whether it's at school, work, a home project, or even in video gaming, it can feel very daunting. This can affect your mental state and greatly hurt your productivity and success in whatever you're doing. Instead, break it down into small chunks and focus on getting it done one piece at a time and getting that piece done right. Shooters like Battlefront 2 make it easy to break it down into chunks since each one of those chunks is when you respawn. When you spawn in, Forget about the previous life's performance and just focus on doing as good as you can in your current one. And when you die, just repeat that process. This will get you out of your own head of maintaining that 1 to 1 KD or whatever goal you've set for yourself for an entire match. And it'll help you improve overall. Since you no longer have the stress of a whole match on your shoulders, you just have that one life to worry about, you'll find you'll be a lot more calm and relaxed as you play. Now when you die, and you will, because everybody does, before you spawn in and forget about the life you just lived, think about what you did wrong. Did you take a bad flank? Did you go off on your own? Are you maintaining your crosshairs parallel to the ground? I know it may sound dumb, but if you're stuck in a death streak or a losing streak, you need to change your thinking from, I should be doing better, or why do I suck so much, and just go back to the basics of shooters. There's a chance that your crosshairs are too high or too low when you're moving around the map. You may have not even noticed that you made this slight change, and just by simply correcting it, it'll bring you back to where you feel you should be. This normally occurs after you start getting overconfident, and usually after being on a super long winning streak, or if you're just dominating every lobby. For the last couple games. Your sensitivity may also need to be adjusted again. Even if it hasn't changed, it's okay to drop it down to help focus back on the basics. If you've been focusing on the head it's, and it's no longer working, start aiming at the body again until you get back in your groove. 
if fundamentals aren't your issue and you're just misreading the enemy's movements or having trouble reacting to what the enemy's doing, you may need to take a break and put your mind to something else for a while. Uh, it's okay to step away altogether or just go play a different game. It's okay to take a break if you're not doing well. The main thing is, is you just don't want to be angry when you take that break. If you don't really want to take a break, and you're just really sucking at one game mode in particular, try switching over to another game mode. So I play a lot of Galactic Assault, and when I start really doing bad in Galactic Assault and start finding myself getting frustrated, I'll switch over to Blast or Starfighter, where Starfighter is a completely different game mode altogether, and Blast allows me just to focus on infantry and my movement. I found that that really helps, and when I go back into Galactic Assault, everything seems to be back to normal. The next thing, and I'm pretty sure I remember my dad saying this to me, um, and it's always been kind of a driving force into anything that I do or, or try to do, uh, and I'm not try I'm not going to say this next part to make you feel bad or to hamper your drive to do things, um, but I did find that takes a ton of pressure off my shoulders and off my mind, and I just wanted to kind of give you my own personal outlook on life or perspective, I guess. Um, so the main thing to remember is you are not the best player in this game, or most likely, anything you have ever done. There is always going to be someone who's currently better than you are or were, and the only way to get better is to constantly work at it, recognize your mistakes, take responsibility for them, and then change what you're doing so it doesn't happen again. The kind of way of saying this is that there's always room for improvement, but I don't feel like the wording is harsh enough to drive constant growth. Now a lot of you may be turned off by that mindset, and tough love doesn't work for everyone but it works for me, so I thought I'd share it with you all just in case. I'm definitely going to have to check to see how many dislikes and unsubs occurred during that last paragraph. The last thing to remember is that it's just a game and to have fun. The more fun you're having, the better you're going to do. And if you don't do better and you just keep dying every few seconds, but you're having fun, you're going to care far less. I've found with a large group of people, or with a group of people, and shout out to the Greeny Weenie Brigade, has definitely helped my enjoyment of this game. If you're a solo player, you might want to try going to meet new people to play the game with. If you're on the PlayStation, you're always welcome to come play with us, or if you're mad at the last paragraph, search through the PlayStation communities to find a group of people to play with during your normal gaming time. I'm sure on Xbox there's a very similar uh, type method to meet people in groups. And if you're on the PC, uh, you can also go onto the forums. There's forums on reddit and on you know the uh, official gaming forums for this game where people are constantly looking for others to play with on their system so go ahead and reach out to them and you'll be surprised how many times you'll find people who just want to have fun and have somebody to talk to while they play and that will definitely help uh increase your level of fun that you're having for the most part and in that will reduce the amount of rage you receive when you die right away as a hero now, the squad system in this game can be a little rage-inducing of its own, but if you have a group of people to joke with or talk to, it can definitely help you relax. The main thing to remember is that if you're in a squad, uh, you will have a voice-to-voice -voice chat in the game, so you don't need to have like a team speak or anything like that set up either. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll be streaming tomorrow at 8pm Central if you're on the PlayStation 4 and looking for someone to play with, and I'll see you in-game.